Hey guys, how you doing out there? Adrian here. Welcome back to alwaystopmoney.com. I appreciate you for stopping by. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you the six laws of money that you need to know and understand in order to build wealth, right? Everything has laws, traffic laws, school laws, work laws, whatever, or rules, as you might say. So money has some specific laws, and if you wanna build wealth, these are the ones that you need to understand. Leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not, welcome back and thank you for checking us out. With that being said, let's get right into the video. The first law of money is that money is neutral. It doesn't take favorites. It doesn't care what you look like, your skin color, your gender, where you grew up, your political affiliations, your background, your family situation. It does not care. Money is neutral. And so why you need to understand this law is that whoever you are, however you are, understand that money can come to you. It's not set aside for a specific type of people. It's not set aside for a specific part of the society. Why it does seem like a specific type of people get money is because they are the ones that understand these laws of money. And so hopefully by watching this video and taking advantage of this knowledge, you'll understand that money is neutral. And so you can be one of the select few, one of the 1%, one of the favorites that seem to always have money, that seem to attract money, always have opportunities because you know that money is neutral and it does not take favorites. The second law of money that I want you to understand is that wealth is created through compounding. What does that mean? But well, Einstein said compound interest is a great wonder of the world, right? And so even though I might have butchered that saying, it means that you cannot work your way through wealth hour by hour, day by day. Unless you're a high paid athlete or a high paid entertainer, it's unlikely to happen. So you have to find ways to compound your money. And simply put, that means letting your dollars work for you. If you put $100 in the stock market, you want that $100 to appreciate and build more wealth and recruit more $100, right? And that is the power of compounding. If you run a business, let's say like McDonald's, how they build wealth is through compounding by keep opening up store after store after store. The first ever McDonald's location is not the one that built them wealth. It's the one that just got the ball rolling. And so if you want to have money, you have to understand that you need to compound your money. You need to create more opportunities. There's only one of you, but you can have a hundred hundred dollar bills out there doing your bidding. So whether you invest in the stock market, by the way, link in the description down below for my ebook ETF stock guide, but you have to find ways to multiply your money and compound it through investing or business creation. But you cannot expect to work 40, 50, 60, 70 hours every single week to earn every single dollar that you have. Always try to find ways to compound your money and that how wealth is created. The third law of money that I want you to understand is money flows to those who manage it. What do I mean by that? Simply put, wealth creation is a skill. Just like you are a skilled basketball player, a skilled fry cook, a skilled accountant, making money is a skill. And so if you want to be able to manage money and create wealth, you have to learn the skill of managing money. That means investing. That means spending less than you make. That means increasing your income. That means understanding when to take risks, when to not take risks and putting your money in places where it can compound, as I said in the previous example. If you do not learn the skill of managing money, I hate to break it to you, you will never have money. It's so important. Everybody that you see that have built wealth, the 1%, the rich people among us, don't hate them. Quite frankly, look at what they do. How do they keep money? How do they make money? And in there, you can find their money making skill and their money managing skill, right? So if you want to understand a important law of money, you have to understand that money will flow to those who manage it. And by watching this video, you're actually learning the ways to manage money and watching this channel. So subscribe if you're new, new videos every single week, two times per week and give the video a like for the YouTube algorithm so that more people can get this money knowledge. Anyways, let's continue with the next point 
about the laws of money. The next law of money is that if you hate money, you will stay broke. If you're one of those people who are like, eat the rich, someone should not have this much money and so on and so forth. And you want to hate on those people instead of learning from them. I hate to break it to you, but you are always going to not have money. Why? It shows that you do not understand the first law of money that I told you, which is money is neutral. Money does not play favorites. And so if you're not attracting any money, it means it's your fault. It means you hate money and it's not attracted to you. Money wants you to attract it. Money needs you to attract it in order for it to come to you. And one of the best ways to attract money is to be of service, is to make people's life easier. And the more people's lives you make easier, the more you are of service to your fellow community, the more money you will make. The next law of money, and it's very obvious and I talk about it all the time, is to spend less than you make. You can take in 100K a year all you want, but if you spend 100K a year to maintain your lifestyle, you will never be wealthy. You have to spend less than you make. And that doesn't mean making 100K and spending 99K so you have 1K left over. No, you have to spend significantly less than you make. Ideally, I always tell people, try to aim to live off of half of your income. And folks will tell me, Adrian, that's unrealistic because things are expensive. And I said, correct. That means you need to make so much money that you can live off of half of it permanently. That is financial independence, that is financial freedom, and that's one of my base lessons in personal finance. So spending less than you make is paramount to understanding the laws of money. You do not want to consume all that you have. You want to be able to have something for a rainy day, for a nest egg, whatever you want to call it, because at one point or another, we're all going to get old, we're all going to not have the energy to do certain things. And that's when all of the money that you put aside for your future self is going to come into play. The final law of money that I want to give to you before we end this video is that cash is king. You can try to live off credit. You can try to live off loans and all of these other things all you want. But the bottom line is cash is always going to be king. Why? Because when you have cash, you have options you are reliant on that loan officer that banker or whatever to approve you you are reliant on outside sources and so you cannot control outside sources and yeah sure you might be successful but at the end of the day if you have cash on hand if you have cash in the bank you can do whatever you want because nobody's going to turn down cash so you want that investment go you have cash go do it you want the house you want that car you want that particular plot of land you have cash you set the rules of engagement and so in your investing and personal finance journey on your way to building wealth understand that cash is always going to be king even if you use loans because you can get to a point like rich people do where you put your cash up as collateral while still taking a loan against it and even that is kind of like using cash so try to avoid credit cards personal loans and all these high leverage situations and high leverage debts and aim to use cash aim to be debt free so that you can set the terms and quite frankly it's a much more peaceful and less stressful situation when you're talking about money and spending cash because you know at the end of the day even if you invest forty thousand dollars in a venture and it doesn't work then you know you don't have to pay that money back because you used your own cash because it's one thing to invest in something and it doesn't work but it's another thing to invest in something it doesn't work but you still have to pay the money back so understand that a law of money is that cash is always king guys this is the end of the video if you got some value please leave a like for the youtube algorithm so that more people can see this and share it around click the qr code right here alwaystopmoney.com that you can get more free weekly newsletters and as well as blogs that i post every single week four to five every single week if you like to read if you're a reader i like to read so i like to provide that option for you guys the newsletter comes out every single friday subscribe if you're new let me know in the comments down below are there any laws of money that i missed right with all that being said i appreciate you guys for stopping by i will see you in the next video two videos every single week you have a wonderful great rest of your day and i will see you peace